How's it everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. So I thought it was finally about time that I reviewed another one of my favorite polyesters currently on the market. This string took the number two spot on my top five favorite current polyester string list and that string is the Y-Tex Quadro Twist. So before we get into this review, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button if you guys like this content to keep the reviews coming. Let's check out the Y-Tex Quadro Twist. So the Y-Tex brand is gaining more and more traction as more people are starting to become aware of the brand and I'm really happy about that because they make really awesome playable and soft polyester strings. This Y-Tex Quadro Twist is their flagship poly and this is a four-sided but twisted, hence the name Quadro Twist, string. It also has some special additives in its construction to create a softer, more arm-friendly response but this string is also known to maintain tension very, very well. So this Quadro Twist is actually pretty amazing. It was rated number one in spin production out of all polyester strings by the USRSA, the United States Racket Stringers Association. And it was rated number two overall in playability and performance right behind Natural Gut. So that's pretty impressive. So the Y-Tex Quadro Twist comes in only one gauge, a one to six millimeter gauge and it comes in a white and a black color and it's $15.75 for a set or $198.95 for a reel. All right, so I got the Y-Tex Quadro Twist here in the black color and I got it in my Head Boom Pro at 54 in the mains and 52 in the cross. That's a little tighter than I typically go but since this is a softer string, I wanna get that control because this boom is a little bit on the powerful side. All right, so without further ado, let's get on the court and let's get into the pros and cons of one of my favorite polyester strings on the market, the Y-Tex Quadro Twist. So let's get started with the pros of the Y-Tex Quadro Twist. It's a long list. Where do I even start? The spin level of this string is phenomenal. Twisted strings are becoming more common on the market these days and every one I've tried gets tremendous ball bite, but not like the Quadro Twist. This string has so much bite and snap back it's ridiculous. I can see why the US RSA rated the Quadro Twist as the number one string in spin generation. The area where I noticed the spin the most is on my kick serve. I really saw my serve jumping up and out of my opponent's strike zone and forcing them to hit outstretched returns. It was so easy to follow my kick serve into the net for a volley. The spin also translated to pinpoint control on my aggressive forehands. The spin kept my shots inside the baseline, but I also had good directional control and I could run my opponents around the court. In doubles, I usually aim low over the net at my opponent's feet with ground strokes and I could even the odds when my opponents were hugging the net. It also goes without saying that the Quadro Twist grips the ball well and slices and I could hit that frisbee-like slice that opponents have to dig up. I like strings that let me use my slice as more of a weapon than just a defensive last resort and the Quadro Twist gave me the confidence to slice and dice my way to the front court. The Y-Tex Quadro Twist also has a livelier feel than most other poly strings I've tried. When I strike the ball in the sweet spot, the feedback gives a satisfying pop sensation and made me feel really connected to the ball. The crucial point about this connection is that as an aggressive player, I want a string that makes me confident in keeping my foot on the gas and the Quadro Twist response kept me confident all match long. Because of the pop, I felt like my shots had more weight to them than usual. The Quadro Twist has a decent amount of power and I could hit past people at a decent clip. Although Y-Tex markets their strings as soft and comfortable polys, I wouldn't quite put Quadro Twist in that soft category. This was good news for me because I like firmer strings, but this was by no means a stiff string. It's softer than Tour Byte Hyper G, um, Headlinks Tour, and some others I've tried though. It's similar to Solinko Outlast, Yonex Poly Tour Fire, and MSV Focus Hex in that it's a firm but also comfortable string. However, if you do have severe tennis elbow, I recommend staying away from not just this, but pretty much every poly. Y-Tex does offer some softer alternatives in their library. 
Also, the tension maintenance was amazing. I like to swing all out on most of my shots and I tend to stretch out strings quite quickly, but the quadro twist did not drop in playability for the first 5 sessions, which is longer than average for me. It does have a break in period in the beginning though. Fresh off the stringer, the quadro twist feels quite stiff and boardy, but don't let first impressions fool you. After about 30 minutes of decent paced rallying, the string settles into the racket very nicely and the response becomes very consistent. Overall, I really like the Y-Tex Quadro Twist from all areas of the court because I feel like I can hit any shot from anywhere and that I'm never out of the point. It's hard to pinpoint a favorite shot with the Quadro Twist, but I think my kick serve was my favorite because they were so satisfying to hit and watch my opponent stretch for that return. I could also utilize my touch game at net to aim for drop shots and angles with scalpel-like precision. It also had enough put away power to just punch the volley through my opponent's defenses. I want to elaborate a little more on the touch. The quadro twist is more on the lively side. Maybe right under tour bite and Link's tour in terms of liveliness, those two strings are the liveliest polys I've tried to date. The quadro twist is right under them and this meant it was a perfect match for my feel and precision oriented game. Even from the baseline, I like to play aggressively and go for low percentage shots and angles. I would drive a coach crazy with the risks I take, but the quadro twist gives me the confidence and assistance to go for these high risk, high reward shots. And as someone who just plays for fun, that's exactly the type of response I want from my gear. The feel at net is also sublime. I like hitting angle volleys or simply when I'm in a volley rally. I could place the ball at my opponent's feet or hit to the sideline and pull my opponent off the court. I also even felt confident hitting topspin lobs on occasion, which is something I almost never do. The quadro twist spin brought the lob down inside the court and I could push up to the net. Flipping the tables on my opponent is super satisfying and I like strings and rackets that assist with transitioning from offense to defense in one shot. I think the reason I like the Quadro Twist so much is that it allows me to unlock my full arsenal of shots and use every tool in the toolbox at will. With this much versatility, it's hard to find anything wrong with this string but I have a couple of nitpicks so let's get into those. So getting into the cons or rather just general nitpicks with the Y-Tex Quadro Twist, like I said earlier it does feel stiff and boardy at the beginning and requires some patience as the strings settle into the racket. Once you get past this, the quadro twist plays very nicely, but the feel starts to become a little wiry after a while. This doesn't bother me, actually I quite like it, but I know many players will be bothered by that wiry feeling, but in my opinion, it doesn't affect the power, control, and spin at all. If this does bother you, maybe try a hybrid setup with the quadro twist. Secondly, the Quadro Twist only comes in one gauge, which is the 126mm. It actually plays a little thinner than its listed gauge because the shaped and twisted profile decreases the surface area of the string, but I would like to see this string in a thinner gauge for even more spin potential and power. Ytex doesn't have too many strings in their lineup that have multiple gauges, which is a shame because string thickness does make a big difference. If they offered multiple gauges, I think more players will find something that will match their game. So what kind of player is the Ytex Quadro Twist for? It's for aggressive players who want a healthy dose of spin and control. I think many types of players can benefit from this string. Aggressive baseliners, crafty net players, big servers, and defensive pushers will all find something that can benefit their game. From spin and control to touch and power, the Quadro Twist honestly does it all and I highly recommend this to any poly lover who has full strokes and a healthy arm. This is the reason the Quadro Twist is currently my number 2 favorite poly on the market and the US RSA rates it number 2 overall behind a natural gut string. I know that rating is a little bit old but I do think this string still holds up. If you're interested in trying the Quadro Twist, please visit the link in the description and use my discount code KOKAMURA15 at checkout for 15% off your order. If you've tried the Quadro Twist, please share your testimonies in the comments below and let's get more players to try the Ytex brand. Thank you for watching this review of the Ytex Quadro Twist right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button. 
and I'll see you on an open court.